Oh, what a sweetie. This is handsome, and indeed he is. And his ID number at the Baldwin Park Shelter is A5101171. And he's a little short hair chihuahua, about three years old. He came in as an owner surrender on August 17th uh, with no reason given. And hi, hey, the baby boy. Um, I'd like to, you know, I want to introduce this guy to you as, a, a, like, as an example. Because what happens, the dynamic here at the shelter, he has it written on his kennel card that he's fearful. So if somebody comes and wants to meet him or something, and the, he's going to be easily passed by because they say, oh, well, he's fearful, I can't deal with that. But look at this guy. I mean, Jana has spent, you know, two minutes with him, got him out, and he just is clinging for dear life. He's so happy to be with a person. Uh, he's been, he's totally sweet with me. It's just that, yeah, he's fearful. His owner's dumped him here, and he doesn't know what happened, and he's scared, and he's going to need some time to adjust. But he, you, got a, you almost got a smile on your face. Look at you. You are so darling. Oh, and he ate a bug. He ate a bug. You're Is a that delicious? Catcher. <laughs> tell, us, tell us about him, Jana. Tell us more. Oh, he's just got the most precious little face. Um, <laughs> he's really low energy right now, but when he gets out of here, he's going to be a nice medium energy once he feels um, comfortable because he is young. Um, but he's, I think he's also going to be kind of that dog that kind of follows you around and is looking for your lap. Yeah. But um, he does have the most precious little face. And you can see here, he's still a little stiff. He's still, if I come yeah. too quick, he does get a little um, freaked out, but no aggression at all. Right. And, you know, as I'm holding him, he's starting to relax and close his eyes. And I think a lot of people don't realize, like, for these dogs, it's hard for them to even relax in here or sleep. Absolutely. So once they feel a little bit of comfort, they'll tend to, like... Start to melt. Um, but he's been good around the other dogs. There was a, he was just with a big dog, didn't seem super fearful. He's with smaller dogs, so I think he's gonna do well in most situations. Um, if there are kids, um, I think that's fine. They just need to know that he's gonna need some time to open up and give him some space. Yeah. Um, but he is just absolutely adorable and precious and just really, yeah. really connected. He's just very, he's very stressed out yeah. right now. He's just so stressed, but he's, you know, you are, he's relaxing by the minute, look at him. He's and just, at eight pounds, he's almost a purse dog. I mean, he's, he's like a, maybe he's a tote so bag precious. Dog. He really is. You are a dog. I want to show you his intake photo just because yeah. This is what I'm talking about. When you look at, he looks up like you are, are you going to kill me? Yeah. You know, he's so scared, which is not a great sales pitch when you're trying to find a home. And so. his little tail's been tucked, but and when it comes out, it's really great when it starts. There it goes. Look at him. <laughs> There's another little dog right here, too, so that might be helping boy. him feel a little bit more relaxed. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. He's just kid. a precious little guy. He is a dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a spot. Okay, so remember, handsome, when you come at, come down here and, and and pick a dog and spend some time with him because he is he is going to be uh, he actually you're going to be really lucky to have this dog because he's going to he's going to blossom with it, with the right people and he needs a new start. His owners had to give up on him for whatever reason, so he needs a fresh start. So come on, Nat, and spend a couple minutes with him, and you'll see how wonderful he is. He's be a fly problem. Still yeah, I know after he's a fly catcher. Wow, he's gone after like three so a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy, handsome. Bye, baby.